Are you still with me? It didn't break the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We're winning! <laughs> oh, God. Excellent. We're all still here. Brilliant. Okay, so we're recording and the, the internet is working and everything looks good. Yes, fantastic. Okay, so we're back to our lunch sequence. We're going to do that again. I'm like, please don't fail. <laughs> okay, so we've got our lunges. Reverse, let's go together. Three reps. If you want to, this would be a good time to add a dumbbell after that first round. If you're doing the video, just do this and go back to the start and do it again. We'll alternate the legs. You could add a weight here if you wanted to take it up to get you prepped for your leg exercises that are coming up next. Once we've done our three each side, I think I did a million there, we're going for our side lunges. Bending that knee, sitting the bum down into it. You want to keep that trailing leg really straight. Once you've done your three to one side, let's go for three to the other side. Bend that knee, sit the bum down. Excellent, Richard. Three in total. And then so rotating, let me show you from the side. So going diagonally across. Three and three. Want to keep that training leg straight. Bending and sitting into the working leg or the leading leg. Fantastic, Richard. Nice. Big stretch to the legs. When you're going, you want to keep that other foot flat on the floor as you go. Our next one, hands over the head around the world lunges. Forward lunge. We're going towards front knee, grind. In front, across, together. Forward, around, in front, together. If that's easy, grab yourself a weight. <coughs> Guys, five to 10 kilos. Ladies, 2.5 to five kilos. We're going to hold that weight in both hands and bring it around. Three per side. Big twist. Get all those core muscles firing on all the ones at the sides. Maybe the front. Maybe the top. Excellent. Once you've done your three per side, we're back to our dead bugs. Lying on our back. Super important. I know I'm wearing like the Michelin man costume right now, so you can't see my lower back, but my spine is flush to the mat. So I'm pulling my ribs down. I'm creating that tension, that core tension, knees on top of the hips, hands reach for the ceiling. Opposite arm. Oh my God, you're front there. Opposite leg, straightening out. As you straighten out, keep that lower back down. If you go far and feel the back lift, so say if you go to here and you're like, my back's starting to lift, just go to there for the moment. Just stay within the range that you can control. 20 reps in total. Nice, Richard. Excellent. Nice. Make sure you come back to center, pause in the middle, and then go on the other one. So you're dissociating between sides. Once you're done, feet are on the floor, one leg up, push through the leg on the floor. We're heel underneath the knee, rib cage and belly button tied together in the front, your eyes through that left leg. 10 per side, 10 and 10. Excellent. Once you're done on your glute bridges, booty's feeling pumped. I'm happy to see that we have the collection of potato and friends today, Richard. <laughs> Actually, 
really brings joy to my face. And I know that that's a Pokemon, isn't it? Is that Charmander? Charizard? Yeah. <laughs> That's a thumbs up. <laughs> we should rename this class. It's not Amazon Strength and Conditioning. We should rename it like, what Teddy will Richard bring this week? <laughs> so good. <laughs> We're going <laughs> to go into some leg strength work now. Oh, God, it's amazing. I don't, didn't even know they sell potato teddies, but they do. And I'm hoping that for Christmas, you guys will get me one too, right? <laughs> Joking. <laughs> next week just slowly introduce them richard so like one week at a time one teddy at a time okay <laughs> okay 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 too much too much lollin i hope the video is on me now one second let me just try this pin no that didn't work never mind speaker oh how do i remove pin Okay, we better do some exercise. Can you still see me as the main speaker there? Ah, where do I make myself the speaker? Nikkei's, I'm gonna mute you. You're not even talking, are you? I hope you're not the speaker. Ah. I can see you. You can see me? Okay. <laughs> no. Yes. Excellent. I hope, see yours is green highlighted, so I hope you're not the, I'm gonna, oh, you're already muted. Okay. I hope it's not just Nikkei's name for this whole this whole workout. <laughs> that would be not ideal. <laughs> okay, so leg strength. We've been doing a ton of work on those single leg squats. So we're gonna progress. Remember, two or three weeks ago, we did our floating reverse lunges. So option number one, just like in our warm up, we're gonna step back, kiss the knees to the floor and step together. This is our working leg, so the leg that's in front. That's the one we're driving off to stand. What we're gonna try today, you can stick with them, we're gonna do eight to 10 per side. What we're gonna try is delay how long, delay the time in which we put the back leg on the, on the floor. So, as late as possible, only put it down when you need to. So you're really loading that front leg. Maybe it's a case that you don't even put it down until the very last minute. You will feel that top leg, feel like zzz, zzz, zzz. Switching on. So let's go for it. Let's start on one side. Step it back either. Put the foot down straight away. Drive off that front leg and go for eight to ten. Or delay. See how long you can go before you have to put it down. A really good idea here. I'm going to move the camera with fear that we lose Wi-Fi. Hold on to a wall. Help yourself load that more so you're not limited by your balance. Nice, Richard. Excellent. That is fantastic. Punch it on your 8 to 10 on one side, 8 to 10 on the other. Push off that front leg. So essentially you're trying to make that back leg redundant here to whatever capacity you can. So it might be the case that you go down and you drop that knee first. Once you're done your 8 to 10, take a break. We're going to need a couch or a chair for this or a bed or a bench, whatever you have access to. If you have something that moves, just make sure you prop it up against the wall so that it doesn't. And we're going to go for a single leg glute bridge hold. We're going to do four by ten seconds each side, alternating sides. Watch me first while you're finishing out your lunges. My heel is pushing down into the bench chair couch. Ideally, we want about 90 degrees at the knee. If your foot is a little higher, and uh, lower, that's okay, but let's try and get as close to this as possible. You can do this with both heels on where you lift your bum and we hold. Feel the bum, feel the backs of legs. Or option number two, make it a little harder, lift and hold one leg at a time. Let's try one leg for a couple of seconds each side. See is that possibility? And then try two. Do four by 10 seconds each side, alternating sides. What you can do here. over all the legs. Can't really see from the camera, but it's based on my bum underneath the floor. Let's get into position. Bring the bum really close to the bench. Look at that 90 degree angle with a full corner bend at the knee. Let's go one leg. Lift the bum. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Swap sides. 10, 9, 8, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. like 10 seconds all grand give me a thumbs up for like over an eight out of ten effort on them excellent they're tougher like you get into it and you're like bah, and then you're there and you're like oh we're gonna go for excellent the case we're gonna go for a jumping squat into a broad jump we're gonna do 10 between the back of the knees go closer we want yeah you might feel the back of the knee a little bit but more the hamstring so go closer to the couch on the next set richard yeah um, and we'll just adjust your position until we can get the right position and it may be a case that we need to put your foot into the box like this instead of on top of the box like this we'll play around with it so jump squats 10 into 10 broad jumps i'm going to show you two on the jump squat we're looking for the bum to go lower than the knees Exploding as high as you can. I will give you non-jumping options in a second. Into broad jump. We're going to do 10 into 10. If you don't want to jump, because I know uh, people have neighbors underneath them, I want you to get a kettlebell. Hold your kettlebell here. Slow down. Explode up for 10. And then 10 kettlebell swings to head height. Let's go together now. Any questions, stick them in the chat. I'll do the jumping variation and then on the next set I'll do the kettlebell variation so 10 squats with the kettlebell into 10 Russian swings or 10 squat jumps exploding as high as you can eight we're off six five four three two and one into your broad jumps going as far as you can for ten Lovely swing, Richard. Eight. And will you rest? Lovely. Clock is on. 90 seconds. So, depending on how much load you're going to use in these sets, if you're kind of sticking closer to like lighter weights or body weight, then it might be the case that you feel it more in your heart rate because you can move faster. If we start adding load, what we're looking to feel is that kind of like buildup of tension in the legs. We're going to add some load on the lunges, reverse lunges now. What I'd like to see is you to bring the reps down kind of six to eight per side and pick a harder variation here. Harder variation means you could be adding, um, oh, poof brain gone <laughs> adding weight to what you just did on the last set or floating the leg for longer so this is an exercise the first one it's pretty tough as it is you don't need to use massive amounts of weight if you're managing to stop or not put the foot on the floor for a long time if you're not able to do that it's not there yet the balance is a bit off grab a kettlebell do a heavy reverse lunge and that is the exercise we'll do the hamstring hold or glute bridge hold together and then we've got the jumping squats and broad jumps or squat, explosive squats with the kettlebell and kettlebell swings. Going in 10 seconds. Reverse lunges. 
floating leg. Feel that tension in the bum. Three, two, one. Step back. So if you can, let's take the effort up on these. Bring the reps down. Instead of eight to ten, six to eight. The six to eight rep range on these is so that you can find a challenging effort in around that rep range. So if you do set number one, two, and three, you can get eight reps. I would say take up the load, take up the intensity, make it harder. If you're getting seven or six before your legs feel like they're reaching failure, stick with the same load and see if you repeat that over the next couple of sets. So instead of what some people, they go, oh, if I feel like doing eight instead of 10. <laughs> it's more to allow you to find the right challenging effort for the piece. Lovely, Richard, they look good. Load tension that front leg. Lovely juggling. Maybe you can see my hips a little bit better on this set. So starting, this would be important, Richard. When you're setting up in this glute bridge hold, is that you make sure you have the thigh straight, perpendicular to the floor, perpendicular to the knee. Getting as close, even closer than you think you need to go on the floor. We're going to stick with the heel on top. If you're feeling like massively right in the inside of the back of the knee, try pushing the heel into the box and lifting the leg. 10 seconds, heads on the floor. Five, four, three, two, and swap. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and swap. Richard, give me a thumbs up if you're feeling more in the back of the legs. Nine, eight, seven, six, <laughs> five. It was like this, it was like mystery thumb. Three, yeah, two, one, and swap. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and swap. Two more each side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and swap. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, and swap, one more each side. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and swap, last one, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and chill. Grab your kettlebell. So, I'm with you now on the kettlebell. We're going squats, explosive squats, and swings. Everybody else, you're doing your squat jump, broad jumps. Kettlebell in position. We're coming down. Explode up. Ten. This is all about explosive assistiveness. <laughs> Four. Get that bum below the knees. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely swings, rushing. Use the hips. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Stunning. Lovely, Richard. Ninety seconds. One more set. Fill me in. How are you guys getting on? How's the intensity? Do you feel like you're really getting a good work through the legs? Yeah? Yeah? Not so much as like maybe there's a burning sensation in the legs towards the end. But starting to feel that fatigue in the legs would be important. Hmm. Thanks, McKay's. Great to hear. Excellent. 
we have no 45 seconds <laughs> and we're going again and then we're going to go up a body um hope i'll see you guys on the thursday class our on-site one we'll bring some games we'll do some squats we'll do some workouts we'll do the does mckay's does your does your team sergio and john does that have a name because i feel like it's like <laughs> Your team against the rest of them. It's the Alexa team, so yeah. we are AGQ. I'll be like, Alexa, play squats. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, go home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, last set. Add load if you have it. We're going for our reverse lunges. Six to eight. Let's get going. Float that leg. Take your time on the way down. Let the back toe, back knee hit the floor as the last thing, so as late as possible on that step. Nice. Or when you put it down, keep the weight in the front leg, just barely put your back toe on the floor, think that you're trying to put your foot, your foot on glass. Excellent, Richard. Oh, that's so good. Try bending forward more, bending the front knee more. Excellent. Last set here we want. Just set to feel a little closer to failure. It's great seeing you guys in person. Like you can see the the progress you guys have made. It's pretty fantastic. All that hard work paying off. We're then lying on our back. We're gonna get our feet up on top of the box. If you're near the back of the knee, push the box or the chair or the couch into the wall. 10 seconds, four times each side. Three, two, one, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and squat. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, four, three, two, one, and swap. Nice, Richard. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and swap. Head stays on the floor. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and swap. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and swap. Ten, nine. Don't forget, you can also just go double leg here if you're starting to reach failure. The hips are really dropping to the floor. Five, four, three, two, one, and swap. Last one each side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one on the opposite side. Ten, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Nice work. Kettlebell swings and squats or squat jumps and broad jumps. Off you go, 10 of each. So either we're going for our squat jumps, as high as you can on these, 10 of them, paired with your broad jumps, as far as you can, not taking too long to turn around. If you don't want to make noise, if you live in an apartment, grab your kettlebell, pause, explode. 10 of these and 10 Swings. Hop of the hips. Lovely, Richard. Fan bloody tastic. Ten and ten. Brilliant. Well done. We're moving on to our upper body now upper body and core. I'm liking the 
Let's get a thumbs up. Does everybody have a band for band pull apart? Yeah, bands, good. Show me your bands. Show me the money. Nikkei's let me know if you have one. I'll give it two options anyway. Let's see what kind of thickness we're at. <laughs> Say again. I broke mine, I don't have one. No, did it split in half? Yeah, I can't remember what I was doing and <laughs> I put too much <laughs> effort there. Never. <laughs> the band did yeah. not work, you're too strong. <laughs> Uh, so it actually works if it's in half. Do you still have it lying around? Uh, not sure. I can check. Yeah. Yeah. Have a little check. So either we'll, I'll get you to some bent over flies. Otherwise, so if we have the band, here's one I made earlier. We're gonna go for a band pull apart. So our chest is up. Belly button and rib together. We're starting with our wrists up towards the ceiling. And we're gonna stretch, it's such a big gym and still so little space. We're gonna stretch the chest through the shoulder blades, feeling the shoulder blades squeezing together at the back. Lovely, Richard. 20 reps. If you don't have a band, you can grab like a couple of water bottles, maybe a liter, maybe half a liter. Set your back, belly button, rib cage together. Thumbs to the ceiling, do a bent over fly. It's really important on these exercises that we're feeling the muscles around the shoulder blades and we're not feeling the muscles around the neck. So keep pulling the shoulder blades into the hips, squeezing the shoulder blades together at the back. Nice, Richard. Once you've done your 10, 20, once you've done your 20 of each exercise, definitely add a bit of load there. <laughs> There's a thing that happens in these exercises where people start to smile like a very insincere smile just means that you're getting closer to the gains. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our next exercise, same band, standing on the band with two feet and we're going to do bicep curls. Shoulders and elbows stay in the same position as if they're glued to the body and we're going to pull the knuckles up towards the ceiling. If that's too easy, if your band is quite light, we're doing 20 reps. Stand on the band, both loops and then you can do a bicep curl from there. Or you can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Control the way down. If that's too heavy, you could go half kneeling position. Maybe do 10 standing and 10 half kneeling so you get the top portion of the bicep curl at the bottom and then more the bottom portion when you're standing. If you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, if you wanna make it harder, you could use wood. If it's too heavy to do that, hold it in the middle or swap sides after 10 like so excellent lovely we're going for some downward dog push-ups now i know you guys are used to these crows at this point starting on the knee box push up to the first option knees under hips hands under shoulders and we're is to send our head in front. So I've got, sorry, I've got writing on my mat. My hands are in front of the writing, but that's where I'm gonna send my head. So I'm not going between my hands like this. I'm going towards the writing like this. So I'm gonna feel the core muscles switching on as you go forward. We're gonna go for 20 of these from the knees or 10 to 20 reps as you can. Make it harder, bend the knees, lift the hips. Make it hardest, straighten the legs, come up on the tippy toes. 10 to 20, either variation. Go on, Richard. Nice, as you come down to the bottom, I'm gonna make sure if you look at my neck, we're not like this. We wanna reach through the crown of the head so that the hairline here touches the floor. Yes, Richard, 10 to 20. So we want a challenging set here. If you are doing, say, the ones from your toes and you get to six, just and finish out the reps as many as you can in that box push-up. And we're doing those, we want to think about those elbows staying in. We're not doing them like this or this. We're doing them like this. <laughs> what a lovely face. Excellent. Set done. Last exercise.
Beach Bay pose, body's in line, hand in front, keep your balance. We're going to lift our legs off. We are going for 20 reps, 10 to 20 per side. If your legs and hips feel like they're going to explode, bend your knees and just lift the knees off together. Nice, 10 to 20, pause at the top. Think about that crunch of the side. I'm going to take it up a notch, straighten the hands overhead. Oh no, my hips can explode. And think about crunching through the side. 20 reps, same thing on the other side. Top to number one, bend knees, hand in front, lift the knees off the floor, lift the feet off the floor. Option number two, straight legs, think about that crunch. Three, hands overhead, crunch the side. Lovely, nice. 60 second break, we're gonna do it again. Nice, Richard. One minute. Grab some tea, some coffee, some potato juice. <laughs> Let me know in the chat how many reps on each exercise you're getting roughly. If the intensity on any exercise is less than an eight or eight out of 10. <laughs> That's why you need the body fat, Richard. <laughs> padding for the hips <laughs> I would definitely advise getting a cushion I hate that stuff where it's like push through the pain no <laughs> that's not good pain there is no good pain that's what's called pain <laughs> you want to get out of pain you want something to be challenging and uncomfortable yes you don't want it to be painful that's gross isn't it oh 15 seconds bicep curls band pull the pots feel the pump let's grab a band Hands up towards the ceiling. If your band is lighter and it's not heavy enough, bring the hands closer together to have a little bit more tension on the band. If it's really heavy, come to the end or just use one loop. Let's go for 20 reps. Want to feel it between the shoulder blades. If you don't have a band, grab some weights. Bent over position, shoulder blades into the hips. And we're going to do our bent over flies. Pause at the top. Bent Ideally, it'd be really light, like a kilo, whatever you've got lying around the house, or some water bottles. Once you're done, once you've done your 20, one loop of the band under the feet, option one, bicep curls. Due to the beat of the music, extra gains. I'm joking, don't do double arms. That'd be too much fun. Option number two, make it harder. Double loop the band underneath one of the feet. Come down to a kneeling position. Or you can use your kettlebell. If you have a light kettlebell, you might do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Or 10 on one side, then swap it around. 10 on the other. Or lastly, when you hold the kettlebell like this, we're gonna get the outside a little more. Turn the hand in, you're gonna get the inside a little bit more. Turn up like this. All good, all good variations. Brilliant, Richard. 20 reps. And then we're into our downward dog push up. So while you're doing your bicep curls there, watch me. The technique on this is muy important. Head is going forward. The eyes, the elbows. We don't want to be here where the elbows point away from each other. So the, you know, the bit where you put your fake tan on that always gets real orangey. Yeah, that bit. We don't want that facing out to the side. We want it facing behind you. So the eye, the elbow is forward. Head reaches forward, core switches on, elbows stay in. Nice. 10 to 20 here, quality reps. We're not looking for the reps where elbows flare and the head comes between the fingertips. If your quality reps are there with that position, bend knees, hips high, or even 
even harder, tippy toes, hips up. Excellent, 10 to 20. <laughs> I got stirk. <laughs> nice, Richard. Ah, perfect. Come down on the feet and then push up from the knees. Let me know in a case in the chat how you're getting on with that one. Lovely, Richard. Excellent. So make the variation a little bit easier if you need to in order for you to get the reps. The quality rich. <laughs> oh no. Our last exercise then, we're lying on your side. Get your mat, get your cushioning, get a pillow, put it underneath your hip. <laughs> your body fat is less than 8%. <laughs> Line on the side, beach babe pose, hand on the floor, 20 reps. We're thinking about crunching through here. Bring in the arms, you wanna make it harder. 20 per side. 11 savage, Richard. Hard to get down into that position, Nikkei's. Put a cushion underneath your head so it gives you something to aim for that's a little higher off the floor. So much weight in the arms. So much weight in the arms. What you can do, Richard, then is like put, instead of going straight to the floor with the head, reach the head forward so it'll start to switch on the core and the core can take some of the burden. Share the load. <laughs> I may have accidentally put on the Peaky Blinders soundtrack here <laughs> by the sounds of things. Excellent. Let's finish it out here because we got some more gains to get. Did you die, Richard, or did you freeze? <laughs> Excellent work, guys. We are into our workout. Upperbodygains.com. Our workout, we are going to have a seven minute time cap on it. When the time cap is low, the intensity is going to be high. Gross. We did the movements last week. We did them in, a in an aerobic setting. So you've built up the volume. You've built up the ability to stay aerobic for a certain amount with the exercises, which means using oxygen. So if you avoid that like pukey feeling and you feel like when you finish, you can sustain the effort. This is going to be unsustainable, an unsustainable effort. We're doing 2159, three different exercises. Exercise one is our thruster. If you're using a kettlebell, the bum goes up towards the ceiling. We're going to squat and press one, two, three, etc. Grab your kettlebell, show me, five reps. If you don't have any kettlebells or dumbbells, rock and jump. Tap the floor, jump, tap the ceiling. Five reps. Excellent, Richard. Brilliant, they look good. You wanna make sure the weight isn't too heavy in a case I know you have an eight kilo kettlebell, so if it's very heavy and you're starting to have to break up the sets into more than three sets on the thrusters and the 21 reps, uh, take the weight down and do body weight. Our second exercise is a burpee tuck jump or a burpee mountain climber. If you don't want to do the jumping, so option number one, burpee chest to the floor. And when you get to the top, we're going knees above the hips. Skull the exercise. If you don't want to jump, we're going to go burpee mountain climber. Either option, option number one, option number two, show me two reps. Nice, Richard. Fantastic. Last exercise, kettlebell pull through. Plank position, feet wide, hips low. 
like this. You're going to reach across, pull the kettlebell to the other side. It can be a kettlebell, it can be a bottle of water. If you have nothing, if you're a complete minimalist, you literally have no things in your house, tap. Has to go across the body. Show me fat. Excellent. Lovely. So the reps are going to go. 21 thrusters. We're not going to do the same reps on the burpee. We're going to do the burpee. 21 renegade row or 20, 21 pull throughs with the kettlebell. So 21 thrusters, 15 burpees with the mountain climbers, 21 pull throughs. One, two, three. Next round, 15 thrusters, 10 burpees, 15 pull throughs. One, two, three, 15. Last round, nine thrusters, five burpees, nine pull throughs. It's quick. We want to get faster as the workout goes on. The intensity. Easy way to remember it, all the reps are 21, 15, 9, but the burpees are going to be 15, 10, and 5. If you want to write that down on a page so it makes sense, write 21 thrusters, 15 burpees, 21, 21, whatever the other thing is. <laughs> write it down now. We're going to get going. You have seven minutes to do this. I want you to give me the thumbs up when you're finished. We need to get your kettlebells, get your water, get ready to enter the darkness. If you can turn on your camera, this would be the time to do it. Whether you're finished or not, we stop the workout at seven minutes. Who's ready? Give me thumbs ups. Ups thumbs. If you're ready, if you've any questions about the reps and things, now is the time to ask. Stick on your camera for scan. So, ah, <laughs> fifteen, four, three, and then last round, nine thruster. Five burpee, nine pull through. So imagine everything was 21, 15, nine. You did 21 of everything, then you did 15 of everything, then you did nine of everything, but you'd be there forever on the burpee. So we've taken the reps on the burpee saying 15, 10, five. Make sense? Are you ready? We're starting on the thruster. 21 thrusters. On your marks, 10 seconds. <laughs> Get set. Three, two, one, let's go. 21 thrusters. Head through at the top on the thruster. Ideally, your 21 is your most conservative pace. Nice, Richard. Hope you're getting on good in the case.
This is the longest exercise in the whole workout, these 15 burpees. So once you get through these, everything is a little bit quicker. Nice steady pace. Slower than you think you need to go in this first round. Once you have your 15 burpees done, we are going for nine. No, that's a lie. We're going for 21 pull throughs. So see, at what pace can you work without blowing up? Nice, Richard. Twenty-one pull throughs. We are three minutes in. Once you get to that round of nine, it's just a sprint to finish. 15 mentally is the harder set, so remind yourself of that, that uncomfortable pace for 15. Halfway through the time pass. 15 thrusters. Nice, Richard, head through at the top. Let's get in the cave. And then we're into the 10 burpees. Once you're through the 10 burpees, that's the hardest part of the workout. The rest is just finishing it off. Nice, Richard. Remember, it's supposed to feel tough. Lovely, Richard. Coming up on two minutes left. Two minutes. Let's get up. Where is that lovely German techno that we're so fond of? A minute and a half, 15 pull throughs, and then it's the round of 959. That's when we're going to sprint to finish. Nice work, Richard. One minute, 20 seconds for your five burpees. Let's push it now. Let's see if we finish this for seven minutes. 20 seconds on the thrusters, 15 seconds on the pull through. Loads of time. 45 seconds. Nine, five, nine. Let's finish strong, McKay's. 30 seconds. Excellent. 
Richard. Let's get chip, chopping away on those burpees. See, can you get to the end of the burpees here? 20 seconds. Go on. We don't normally push it and make it this hard, so let's work hard when it's supposed to be. Well done. 10 seconds. effort or like what's a 10 out of 10 surely that was the 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10 <laughs> keeled over oh my god 10 out of 10 got to end the burpees fantastic Nikkei's let me know how you got on that was savage you guys have worked up to this point it's really hard I personally think to know how fit you are because the metrics always change 12 out of 10 2000 percent the metrics always change so you get good at push-ups and then we start to do maybe like a handstand push-up or whatever like it's always going to be challenging but the fact that you can do that full workout and work for the seven minutes at a high intensity is a testament to your fitness that you can keep moving for most of it and not have to take massive breaks of like 30 seconds you've built up a lot of volume that is really really cool guys i'm proud if i was you i would be proud of myself because you guys are fantastic and stop the recording um 